Hi everyone, it's Tim here and in today's video I'm going to unbox an iPad Pro 12.9 inch 4th generation iPad and I wanted to get this because I'm really looking forward to seeing just how much bigger it is for music reading than this iPad Air. So let's get started. Uh, and I've just literally got this new in the box and, uh, and I have to say I do like how it opens up when you pull these levers. So let's grab it out of the box. Here it is, nice shiny new iPad Pro and uh, Oh, and we've got a little arrow here, so maybe this will allow me... Oh, look at this. I, Apple's thought of everything. Okay. Let's see if I can get into it now. Here we go. Voila. And here we are. Well, it's actually thinner than... I was expecting it to be a little bit chunkier than this, I have to say. So this is, uh, this is really, really sleek. And I knew it would be heavier than the original, but uh, it's actually not... It's a little bit heavier, but it's actually not too dissimilar given that the size is significantly bigger. All right, let's open this up as well. So this is the space gray version and I've got 128 uh, KB size. Uh, depending on how much you feel you're going to need to actually store on the iPad will depend on what actual capacity you need. I actually worked out that on my old iPad, I'd only used about 70 gigs, so I could, probably could have got the smallest capacity, but I thought, let's go to the mid-range in case I end up using more than I thought. So I'm going to hold the power button, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to see it turn on as well. So one of the things that I've learned, uh, apparently Apple was one of the first uh, electronic producers to pre-charge their devices as well, so... A lot of the time when we were kids, you wouldn't even get a battery in it and it certainly wouldn't work when you turned it on and apparently Apple was one of the first companies to do that. So instantly I can notice here the size of this screen compared to my other one is like, it is really a lot bigger. <laughs> so I think music reading on this is going to be a lot easier because this is more or less the size of what we'd call an A4 page here in Australia. So this is a 20... 12.9 uh, inch iPad. So I'm going to go through the setup process which we'll uh, zoom through and then I'll check it out on the piano and we'll compare the two. Okay, so Apple's come through with the goods here again. We've got the opportunity to uh, connect the iPad somehow. I mean, this is all magic really, but it, I just read the instructions. It said, bring your current iPhone or iPad near this one to sign in and set up. So I brought this one over, turned it on and lo and behold, it's ready to set up. So I'll go continue on this one and we'll see what happens. So this one now says, hold your new iPad up to the camera and position the pattern on the circle. So you can see we've got a pattern on this one. So we'll hold these up together. And that is how you connect the new and the old together. So one of the big differences I've noticed instantly is, of course, the new iPad Pro doesn't have a thumb print or a home button, so it's offering Face ID here. So I'll go ahead and set that one up now too. Okay, so we've finally got uh, both of the iPads um, loaded up and ready to go. So it, just before I take it over to the piano and show you what's going on over there, I thought I'll just quickly show you what's in the box as well. So we've got a charging cable, which uh, is kind of good, but also annoying because I went ahead and bought <laughs> another one of those. So um, you've got to remember, as, of course, too, that the uh, iPad Pro, these new ones have USB. C connections, so hopefully you can see that here. So this isn't a lightning connector, so if you did have microphones and things that were working with lightning, you won't be able to use those anymore. It's a USB system, USB-C system. So you've also got in here the uh, power adapter, which again looks quite different um, to the regular ones. And so the other thing that I bought too, I bought two other things when I um, ordered this. I got a headphone jack because good old um, Apple had to make us all buy new headphone jacks, of course. Uh, and the other thing I did get was a cover as well. So I'm going to open up the cover that I bought. It's called the iPad Smart Folio, just a protector at this stage. So let's get that open. Okay, so here's the Smart Folio, which uh, should be fairly easy to connect. I think it just is a matter of sitting it inside and shutting it. There you go. And so this is the um, actual official Apple one, which means that when you do close it, it does go to sleep and it wakes up when you open it. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is jump over to the piano and then we'll actually compare the two reading a music score. Okay, so here are the two iPads up on my piano bench. This is the iPad Air, my original iPad, and this is the new iPad Pro 12 and a half inch. And you can see instantly just the size difference of these two scores. So this is uh, Chopin. I thought I'd choose something that's got a lot of notes on it. 
So you can get an appreciation for the difference in size. And interestingly enough, if I compare that to one of my actual editions uh, of a Chopin work, you're getting pretty close to the original size uh, of these two scores. So um, 100%, and I'm just looking at the, the clarity of the screen too. So, I mean, this screen is on full, uh, full brightness and you can see it's got that kind of bluey tinge to it. It's not nearly as crisp. This one actually looks like I could be reading um, paper, a paper score. So um, I thought that would be a really interesting comparison just to finish this little unboxing. Uh, pretty impressed with this. I'm going to go away and do some practice with it, and uh, we'll let you know in the future how it goes. Let me know if you've got any questions about the iPad Pro um, and how you can use it in your studio. Hang on a sec. Just before you go, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, then please click the link to make sure that you don't miss any of our weekly updates. And if you're a music teacher looking for support and help with any aspect of either your teaching content or your business, then make sure you check out our blog, podcast, and community by going to topmusic.co.